Do you want to capture high-end images with Wingtra 1? In this first video tutorial, we show you the points you have to check before you go out in the field. Step 1. Preload offline maps on the tablet. On the tablet, start our flight planning software Wingtra Pilot and navigate to the Settings tab. On the left side, you can download offline maps. This is needed in case you don't have internet connection in the field. Navigate and zoom to the area you want to map. Localizing your area is easiest with street maps. To plan and conduct a flight, we recommend using satellite images. Further map types include hybrid and terrain maps. Enter a descriptive name. For most purposes, the default zoom levels 14 to 18 are fine. Wingtra Pilot is downloading maps of the selected type for the whole area you selected. Step 2. Charge the RC, tablet, and flight batteries. Make sure all batteries are charged before going out in the field. The charger to charge flight batteries can be powered in two different ways. On the right side, you can insert the cable to power the charger from car batteries. On the left, the normal power cable can be inserted. Match the colors to plug in the cables to attach the batteries. Be careful in case the batteries are already connected. You can create a short circuit in case the red and black banana connectors touch each other. Push firmly to connect the batteries. Furthermore, connect the white balancer cable to the batteries. Select the correct battery type, in our case, lithium-ion. Make sure to use the program balance. By pressing shortly on start, charging current and voltage can be changed. Make sure to use 7.5 ampere and 14.4 volts. To start charging, press on start until the battery check starts. Confirm by pressing start shortly. When the batteries are fully charged, press stop before you unplug the batteries. The tablet can be charged using any USB power supply. One option is to charge it on the right side of the flight battery charger. The slot to charge the RC is located on the right side. On the back, you see a flashing light. It will turn off when the RC is fully charged. Step 3. Check hardware and SD card and camera. Make sure that the middle stand is in the side pocket of the transport sleeve. Before going in the field, check Wingtra 1 visually for broken propellers or any obvious hardware damage. Handle Wingtra 1 by holding it on the motors or at the main wing. Assure that the SD card is inserted in the camera. Empty the SD card or make sure that there is enough space for the upcoming flight images. Step 4. Is the pilot box complete? Check if you have the remote control and tablet, the charger, fully charged flight batteries, charging cables, the wind measuring tool, telemetry antenna, spare parts, the SD card adapter, pitot covering, and the hex wrench tool. Last but not least, make sure that you are allowed to fly at the planned location. Check the local regulations. Also, make sure that the weather is suitable. Check out our next video tutorial to see how you can plan your flight with Wingtra Pilot.